Hi guys, welcome to Piece of Code and welcome to this video. Uh, this video is going to be a very short video because uh, this video can uh, be like the continuation of the previous video which uh, was on SQS and SNS. Actually, I forgot to include these two topics as well which is uh, Amazon Simple Email Service SCS and Amazon Pinpoint which is also used for sending messages and uh, uh, emails and a lot of stuff, right? So. A lot of people get confused between these two services actually, uh, SES and Pinpoint and also between SNS, Simple Notification Service. So let's try to understand uh, what are these services used for, not in detail because you just need to know uh, like a little bit for the exam, it will not come like a very thorough concept, right? You just need to understand the difference and where it is used and you are good to go for the exam. So let's talk about this Amazon simple email service actually. Oh, one second. Okay. So what is the purpose of SES? Uh, SES is a scalable and cost effective email service for sending transactional and marketing customers to, cust uh, you know, sorry, marketing emails to customers. So the whole purpose of SES is to send emails. When you compare it with SNS, SNS is a pub sub notification service simple notification service which follows a publisher subscriber model right you create a, a what we call a topic and there will be subscribers to the topic and then you will be able to uh, send the required messages to the service you can integrate it with sqs uh, you using a fan out pattern and everything and you can do a lot of stuff there is a lot of flexibility in sns which kind of if i say uh, generally goes towards the coding paradigm or the application specific whereas the SES thing it kind of navigates towards the marketing paradigm marketing or, or social or something like that right because using SNS you will be able to do a lot of stuff right uh, you can send messages to a specific HTTP endpoints emails push notifications, SMS, a lot of other things. But this is just for sending emails. So you can just say that uh, for marketing people who are in the marketing field or something like this or uh, promotional activities, this is a better way to do because uh, it, it abstracts a lot of things that you need to do in SNS. And also it ensures, uh, you know, reliable delivery and, uh, you know, it will also help in compliant handling a lot of emails you know features related to sending emails itself uh, then uh, it also offers apis for sending emails programmatically so you can also use that you can also do content filtering right uh, it you can ensure that the emails comply with the industry standards and best practices regarding scalability you don't have to worry about anything it can handle large volumes of email traffic and it is suitable for businesses of all sizes and then you can specify your target audience. So SES is suitable for developers and businesses that needs a reliable and scalable email solution for sending transactional emails. Now transactional emails and marketing emails, you can send both of it. The reason I said it, it goes, it, it just navigates towards the marketing side a bit more because of the features which actually, you know, are helpful for the marketing community out there. Now, it doesn't mean that a developer will not be able to use it. Of course, it will be able to use it. You can use SES for sending confirmation emails like account confirmation emails or I don't know OTP. Okay, like a code one one time code or password, whatever you can do that and you can use to send other things as well. Right. Pretty simple guys. Uh, very simple to remember and uh, the difference between sns and SES is pretty clear right now i hope uh, if you have any doubts you can just put it in the chats okay now talking about pinpoint guys now pinpoint is a fully integrated marketing automation service for engaging with customers across multiple channels including email sms push notifications and voice so you may ask okay SES is specific to sending emails pinpoint on the other hand can send sms emails push notifications and voice 
notifications whatever like you can send multiple stuff multiple types of messages at all at once how it is different from sns first of all the main difference between sns scs and pinpoint is that sns uses a publisher and subscriber model that is very very important to remember whenever in a question in the exam you see that pub sub model your answer should always navigate towards sns secondly pinpoint is used for creating targeted campaigns analyzing user engagement and driving customer interaction towards various channels it's purely if you see a marketing concept right i am not a marketing person so i'm not i'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not be able to uh, you know put a lot of pressure on that but still just by reading the definitions and all this is completely uh, you know related and it is useful for the marketing guys out there why see the process in which you create a pinpoint campaign is something like this so there is something known as a pinpoint project these are the steps you can use it to create it uh, create a new project and create a campaign i'm just going to tell you the steps so you create a project which is a pinpoint project and then you create a segment now segment in general terms in normal english what does it mean it's just a group of recipients or a recipient list right and it doesn't mean that one segment can contain just one list of recipients you can create you know sub segments or you can create multiple segments for multiple types of people uh, or you know based on some criteria or a filter criteria for example there is one segment which is for teachers another segment for students another segment for working professionals so you have different types of messages to be sent to all these uh, segments one for teachers one for students and one for working profes uh, working professionals right on top of that you can apply segment filters and criteria also you can add, you can put additional filters on this uh you know segments as well for example filters then after creating your segment which is your desired you know recipients which should receive the message you would create something known as a campaign campaign is pretty easy to understand basically uh, a marketing campaign you can say but here it will consist of the message template that you want to send the desired date and time when you want to send uh for example if you want to configure it uh, weekly or daily daily email updates or a specific day for example you are uh, you are a marketing manager for your uh, for a store right uh, i don't know a clothing store right and you have a specific sale on a sunday uh, you know uh, you will give 50% off like a discount and uh, basically what you will do is just the previous day you will schedule one campaign with your required segment of customers right and you will apply some filters and then you will create the campaign and then you will launch the campaign once you launch the campaign you don't have to worry about anything once you have specified the date the type the filters and the frequency in which your email will be sent or your sms will be sent it will be sent on the specified date now i think you are getting an idea how it is different from sns pinpoint as the name suggest is used to pinpoint your customers your base and just interact with them now if you see in amazon pinpoint it is a multi channel engagement as i've told you it allows businesses to engage with customers through email sms push notification and voice messages audience segmentation pinpoint provides tools for segmenting audiences based on user attributes and behaviors as i've told you you can create criteria you can create filters you can create sub segments and all, all these things campaign management pinpoint enables businesses to create manage and target uh, sorry track targeted campaigns across multiple channels analytics and insights pinpoint offers analytics and reporting capabilities to track user engagement measure campaign performance and optimize marketing strategies so see everything every feature that pinpoint provides it is specified to the marketing side the most so you can say that yes this is for this use case so based on the use case you will either use sns or amazon pin so target audience is 
marketers and businesses that want to create targeted marketing campaigns and analyze user engagement across multiple channels so in summary if you see scs is primarily focused on sending transactional emails while amazon pinpoint is a comprehensive marketing automation system that's the difference i would say the most uh, biggest difference between both one very interesting thing about uh, these two services and uh, uh, one question may come into your mind that if i am a marketing manager and my requirement is just to send emails should i consider using pinpoint should i consider using scs in that scenario this kind of question may also come in the exam guys in that scenario you will choose ses why because you have only one requirement if the question also includes that in the future you will include other forms of communication or other forms of channel then you may go towards pinpoint but if your requirement is just sending emails ses is your answer secondly if you choose the mode of communication or the mode of channel as email in pinpoint for example you are creating a campaign or a project in amazon pinpoint and you want to send emails through that project you just you are creating an email campaign in simple words on amazon pinpoint now you would know that you should know that pinpoint is integrated with scs right pinpoint uses scs to send emails simple as that so even if you are using pinpoint for just emails you are se selecting the channel as email and you are creating the project you are just you know sending the email through scs itself right okay so just let us see how you can create a simple project on uh, pinpoint and i'll show you the different components if you want to explore it more you can explore it so we're just going to go to pinpoint you can just search for amazon pinpoint and if you see uh, here there is a new uh, you know thing that has been introduced which is pinpoint sms this is generally used for sending sms uh, or voice features but if you want to explore the fully fledged all the services of pinpoint you would probably go with pinpoint campaign orchestration because you have complete control over every channel so you can go to manage projects over here and you can click you know create a project over here for example i am just going to name my project as example project and you can select the you know the channel uh, from which you want to do or for example you just want to send emails so you can click on configure here before you can send an email you have to verify that an email address that you own it click the link in the email it'll send you the address to verify it so i'm just going to give my email address piece of code uh maybe 123@gmail.com and i'm going to click on save okay we'll we have to verify it so it has sent me an email on this email so i'm just going to check my phone and uh, approve this email i don't want to open it in the chrome there might be some other emails also okay so as you can see it says congratulations you have successfully verified the email address you can now start sending emails from this address cool now i'm just going to click on save you can search you can see this um additional configurations you can use sdk version of amazon pinpoint in a programmable way or you can use aws cli anyways it is fine i'm just going to click on save for now so this is my project and in the analytics section you will be able to see what all the features and what is the revenue and what what is the other things marketing related things that you you, you want to see you can see the demographics like uh, on which uh, which segment uh, in which region you are sending the most emails or something like that and uh, yeah locations and all and yeah the second thing is to create a segment now segment is nothing but as i've told you that you will be the the recipient list that is uh, you know that will receive your messages or your emails right then you can you have to create a campaign and after creating a campaign you can launch your campaign as you can see this features of campaign 
you have campaign campaign id channel type priority what is the schedule of the campaign what is the status and all the other things i'm not going to create a campaign and launch a campaign right now because it's not that much related to me so i'm not going to do that uh, and as for the exam perspective you do not need to actually know all of these things just to make things clear i'm just showing how you can create a pinpoint project and work around with it so that should be it guys i'm going to go into my project and i'm going to go into details and okay i want to delete this thing i'm going to go into settings and i think general settings and i can delete the project delete if you guys wish to uh, play around with it make sure you know the limits of the aws free tier guys i don't I, i don't have the idea how much uh, number of emails it provides uh, in pinpoint but if you want to take the risk you can go ahead and play around with the amazon pinpoint thing but from an exam perspective that is the only information you need to know to answer the questions in the exam related to scs and pinpoint okay guys so that's it for this video it was a very short and simple video to the point i hope you liked it and a lot more videos are coming i'm working on a lot of uh, you know other content very useful content actually you will get to know in the coming time till then have a nice day bye bye and take care